Leveling weapons in Call of Duty is all about efficiency, so I spent my entire first day of playing Modern Warfare 2 trying to find the best way to level up weapons, rather than the usual getting some kills with double XP on. And what I found is actually pretty interesting. With that said, instead of simply giving you one surefire way to level your weapons, I've decided it's best to present you with three separate options depending on your playstyle. Of course, all of these are going to require you to get eliminations, but it may be easier for you to enjoy doing one over the other. And remember, it's important to actually have fun while grinding out the game because otherwise, it's just not worth it to begin with. Now before we dive into our first method, there's always a couple of steps that actually ensure you'll get the maximum number of experience points available, and those steps are as follows. First, when you're sitting in the pregame lobby, be sure to have whatever weapon you want to level already put in a class. I know this may sound redundant, but I can't express to you the number of times I've forgotten to update the weapon I'm leveling. But furthermore, set a second class up for the next weapon you're wanting to use because if you end up finishing the first weapon in an ongoing match, you can go ahead and switch the next before the match is over. And the reason why brings me to step number two, be sure right before the match starts to turn on your double weapon XP. If you have any available, personally, it's been helping me blow through weapons so much faster, making the whole experience a lot more enjoyable, even if, for some reason, we're unable to see how much time we have remaining on the tokens. However, I think it's important to mention, it seems like Infinity Ward may have actually nerfed double XP and double weapon XP tokens. While playing, I was able to notice that when I scored under 10,000 XP, I received the full double XP token. However, when I reached over 10,000 XP, I'd receive only 1.5 five times my experience points. I don't know if this is a glitch or if it was intentional, but honestly, it feels like false advertising to me. Either way, you may not have any double weapon XP tokens, and if that's the case, then just skip this step. Not a big deal. Now that we have those out of the way, let's dive into the first method, and probably the easiest of them all, focusing on higher kill game modes. Like I said in the beginning, there's always the option to just get some kills with double XP on. But I've taken this a step further to find the best game modes to maximize the number of eliminations you'll be able to achieve in a single match, while also considering the length of said matches. And the best modes to play include, but are absolutely not limited to, depending on your playstyle, Hardpoint, Headquarters, and Domination. These are all normal 6v6 game modes and are relatively easy to rack up kills in. The big thing you'll want to remember is to get those kills while playing the objective. Reason being, when you get kills while playing the objective, you actually get some bonus points, which are in most cases double what you'd normally get from a single kill. And after you include the double XP, you're getting four times the usual amount of experience just because you were sitting on a certain part of the map. Moving on to our next method, we find ourselves at Search and Destroy and and prisoner rescue. Now first, looking at both, they're very similar. But the cool thing about these modes is that a single elimination can reward you with five to 10 times the experience you'd get from one elimination in any other game mode, which of course means faster leveling. However, you need to consider when playing these game modes that if you are to die, you're not coming back until the next round, at least in Search and Destroy. So myself and my team, which I highly recommend you do play this with a squad, choose to instead of S&D, play Prisoner Rescue. When you die in Prisoner Rescue, you have the opportunity to be revived and get right back into the fight. But the beauty of it is that your enemies can do the exact same thing. Now, everyone has only one revive token available to them, so be sure to make the best of your second life. But that means if you play your cards right, which will yeah. rarely happen, you can get up to 12 eliminations per round. That is, if your teammates also don't get any eliminations. Personally, I've maxed out at around seven, but I cannot stress to you how much faster this is than just playing Team Deathmatch or any other mode where your only focus is eliminations. Now, for our final method, we find ourselves at one I personally am not a huge fan of, but it definitely gets the job done, and that is playing Invasion. And no, I don't mean just hopping in and playing it normally, because there's a bit more to it than that. I actually saw a clip of a streamer talking about how it could be the fastest way to level up your weapons before Modern Warfare 2 was even fully released globally, but after seeing Reed Boy, a streamer who easily has the most gold weapons unlocked as of making this video, take it to new heights, I think it's going to be the best option if you're looking for 100% of efficiency, even if it isn't the most fun of strategies. 
So here's how it works. When you make your class in the pregame, if you're a high enough level, more on that later, you're gonna wanna set your field upgrade to a tactical insertion. This allows you to place a marker for where you'd like to spawn after you die in game. Once you make it into the match, you're gonna wanna run all the way to the enemy side of the map and place your tactical insertion in an area where one, you don't think any enemy is going to find it, and two, where you have a positional advantage. This could be high ground or just somewhere you're able to hide but still rack up a lot of elimination. And after that, it's really all about racking up those wonderful eliminations. But the cool thing about Invasion is that the game also will spawn in enemy bots that are still worth a kill's amount of experience. So instead of fighting little Timmy with a 43 KD who forgot how to turn his PlayStation off and is somehow slide canceling across the map, you get to continuously eliminate literal bots that apparently were trained by the Girl Scouts to only sell you cookies and not the military. And your goal is to actually eliminate as many of those bots as possible. And if you're not playing with a squad, when they begin adding armor to the bots as the game progresses, you can simply back out and hop into another match. And after all that, you focus on switching to the next weapon weapon, you rinse and repeat. But hey, if you found this video informative or valuable in any way, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. And make sure to check out the video on screen now for how you can level up as fast as possible in Modern Warfare 2.